Hello everyone. Here we have um, a sodic equation that we can deal with. We have square root of x squared plus 4 being equal to square root of 3x. But do you think this is possible? Let's deal with this, right? To deal with this, we can just square both sides. <clears throat> and as we square both sides, this and this will be cancelled, right? So we have x to the power of 2 plus 4 being equal to 3x. Here we have a quadratic equation already. And um, we can rearrange this in a better way. So we have x to the power of 2 minus 3x plus 4 equal to 0 right so what is left now is to decide the method to use to solve this um quadratic equation okay so sometimes it's difficult to pick out the factors right so you better use the formula the formula method because you wouldn't have to think of the factors right now our a is one since we're going to use the formula our b is the coefficient of x minus 3 and our c is constant which is 4 so this is what it is now let's continue from here we will write the formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac and then all of this is over 2a, right? And from the look of things, this will not give us a real solution. But let's deal with it. Now, x from here is equal to our minus b will now become minus minus 3. Then, plus or minus, we have b squared, which will become minus 3 in bracket. We square this. Then we are going to have minus 4 times a, which is 1, times b, which is, okay, times c, which is 4. You can see it over there. Now, everything is over 2 times 1, because a is 1. Now, to continue, we have x to be equal to negative, negative, we give positive 3, then plus or minus, we have nine, um, 3 squared, or negative 3 in brackets squared, is equal to 9. Then minus 4 times 1 times 4, this will give us 16. Now, we have this over 2. Remember I said this was going to give us some um, a complex solution, right? Because we are getting a negative square root now x from here is equal to 3 plus or minus then we have 9 minus um, 16 and that is going to give us minus 7 and the whole of this is over 2 isn't it now let us continue okay to continue from here x will be equal to 3 plus or minus square root of 7 multiplied by square root of negative 1. This is still over 2. What I've done is to pick out the negative. If you multiply this and this, you will still have square root of negative 7. Now, x here is equal to 3 plus or minus. We have um, square root of 7 multiply by i because square root of negative 1 is i and this is all over 2 to continue with this we can say that our x is equal to we get 3 plus or minus we have i root 7 so this way you will know that this i is no longer under the square root sign so this is over 2 this means that the value of the values of x or the value of x is either 3 plus i 
root 7 over 2 or 3 minus i root 7 over 2. Okay, so these are the two possible values of x. But mind you, both of them are complex solutions. Thank you for watching.